Good afternoon everybody, how are you doing? It's me Paddy from Across the Shuck and you're very welcome back to the channel. And I've got a lovely video today. This is one of the new things we've started here in the UK with a group of um, YouTubers, knife collectors. We're doing a pass around and this is the, the first time that I'm getting in on the pass around group. And I'm over the moon to get in on it and there's one of my knives on the round now and we're all going to take turns of putting knives in, passing them around <coughs> and doing reviews on them. And I'm really glad to say that most of the reviews, I've seen a couple of the reviews on this one already, and they're probably going to be completely different than mine as they are to each other. And, and <coughs> to be honest, you know, I, I do longer videos because I can't stop myself from talking and getting sidelined. A bit like Gus, I just go off on a wee tangent. But I was sitting looking at this and I was thinking, no, how can I review it properly? Because I do want to do it properly. Um, somebody, you know, give their knife up and pass it around to people, um, which can sometimes be a scary thing. Because you're not, you're always wondering, is it going to come back? But this this was a really nice knife, and and for my first one, I think this is great. So I want to sort of do this as I will do all of them. This is an otter messer. You can see the lovely little otter there. It comes in this lovely pouch, a cleaning cloth. This is one of his own slips, and Steel City knives. Sorry, this is from, and this is one of his um his own slips to carry the knife and. Also in there, you'll get a wee how to look after your knife and tell you a bit about carbon steel because it's carbon steel and it's C45, which is a, you know, it's a pretty basic carbon steel. But if you know what carbon steel is like, um, it takes a wicked edge and it'll cut. And for most everyday uh, <coughs> people's carry, this is a perfect knife. It's a gentleman's sort of knife. That's the way I look at these. They're a gentleman's knife because they don't last forever. It's not maybe for a, I know a full-time working joiner that you wouldn't use this, but for everyday use, it's just perfect. Now, I'm going to take these out of the way. It's a nice presentation. It's nice to come on that. And then you have this beautiful knife in oak, which is a beautiful light blonde oak. A lovely brass um, liners and bolster. And it has got, I think it's maybe even brass pins in it I'm not sure maybe they're not brass maybe they're stainless and I, they look brass to me but it matters not to me you have a bass, brass lanyard hole at the end of it there lovely little lanyard I must ask him where he gets these little um, brass things they are absolutely super maybe it's just a little bit of brass pipe but isn't that lovely the little bit of leather and not at the end of it <clears throat> really lovely little lanyard there it really fits the knife which is lovely now, this knife is about, uh, it's just over three and five eighths long. So it's a nice, long, slim little pen knife. Or, you know, we're all going to give them names, but the little knives like this is just a pen knife to me. When I'm talking to somebody, here's a wee pen knife. Uh, that's just the way I, I don't use all the lingo all the time. <clears throat> but let's open it up and see what it is. Uh, no half stop. It's a cam tang. Not a, maybe just needs a wee flush out. <clears throat> excuse me to get a wee bit of a snap on that but it's absolutely fine i wouldn't be worried about using that at all it's quite a firm retention there um uh, i think yeah maybe just a wee flush out or something would do that an otter messer make a lovely knife i've had a few in my time strangely enough i don't have any now i, I had traded whatever the ones i had um for the simple fact that we're getting quite expensive i find them getting quite expensive when i could buy uh uk makers that we're doing a cheaper job with the same sort of a knife. And I'm sort of going to show that now. Now, this is not a slant on this knife and somebody buying this knife. If you like German knives, French knives, whatever you like, you buy them for your collection. I have German knives, but I've been selective. They're actually probably um, quite expensive, but I believe they're worth it. This is a beautiful knife. Um, we'll talk about the price later. We'll talk about the price later just to see what you can think of. The fit and finish of it is absolutely wonderful um can you can you find little faults on it yeah you can if you want to but to me on it's just a little pen knife um i, I think for for the the, the price that is and again we'll talk about that later there's a couple of wee refinements i would have rather that they had done rather than leave them sort of blank but again it's a lovely knife it's functional it will work it will cut easy to sharpen um Personally, I put patinas on mine, so I'm not going to worry too much. Um, I don't have much trouble with rust. I live in Northern Ireland, but 
I mean, I don't have much trouble with the rust on knives, but once I get a bit of patina on, I'm quite happy I'm safe then. But if you want to keep it nice and shiny, oil it, and it'll just, just ordinary cheap mineral oil is the best to use because you can put it on the wood, you can put it on the whole knife, a little damp cloth, you can do the whole thing in one, put it away. Um, and mineral oil doesn't fester. Never, never use sort of oil it would use for frying or anything like that there. Mineral oil, it's so cheap to buy. And you can get it on Amazon, they'll deliver it to your door. And if you're a Prime member, it doesn't cost you anything to get it delivered. But, so it's a really easy to maintain knife. It is a lovely knife, it's sleek, it gives you a full four finger grip on it. You have no worry about that closing on you unless you do something drastically wrong. Um, and again... I've been cut twice this week because I started playing with locking knives again. Twice. Because you play with locking knives. You want to see what the action's like and all that. Just, it's bad for me. I'm not good at that. I never get, or very rarely get cut with a pen knife. So, it's lovely stamping on it. There we go. You have Ross Fry and you've got the great word Sologen. So, uh, other knives are made in Sologen. Um and now that doesn't always guarantee the knife is going to be great because it's a solid you made. There, you know, I've had quite a few dodgy ones that are not well-known names, but most of the well-known names like Otter and uh, Boker and things like that, you're, you know the knife's going to be fairly good. And you know if it's not, it's all right, you can get it changed or whatever. But this, you would no need to change this knife. It's absolutely, you can see there, there's... Uh, there's not, you know, there's a little slight imperfections, but so slight that honestly, I'm not even going to show them because there's no point. They're that tiny and, and insignificant. I mean, it's not, the, the back isn't straight across, but I know many, many of other knives that are not straight across when they cut them off there. So again, that's not going to worry me whatsoever in a little working knife. It's a little gentleman's working knife because you're not frightened to use this to do anything. Nice blade stock, about two mil. Uh, two mil at the most so and you've got a lovely fat flat grind down to a nice thin edge really slicey well you know peel your apples cut your sandwiches you know whatever you want to do i think it's a super option i love these for an option as a a secondary carry you can carry a bigger whatever knife you want locking or slip you can carry a bigger version with you for heavier jobs if you think you're going to need them personally this will be me absolutely would do me no problem whatsoever for a day i mean you could strop this in a pair of jeans uh, carbon steel strops easy anywhere you know uh, your leather belt take it off and just strop it in the back it'll bring it back to an edge that'll get you through the day if it's gone a wee bit blunt just don't let the knives go completely blunt and i know i repeat that question but it's so often i, I hear so many people say oh, i used it all day and it was really blunt and i couldn't get it back well don't let it go blunt at lunchtime give it a wee strop in your belt it'll do fine um, and that's my answer to most things. So yes, a nice blade, really well presented. I love the little otter on these, uh, eating a fish. I think that's beautiful. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this to, uh, to knives that I have got that um, that I think, are they better options? No, but some of them are very similar in the price-wise. This to buy now, it's on sale. Um, and can I put the link down in the description? I can't remember. I'll put where it is on sale down there. I'm not good at doing the links things, but I'll put where it's for sale. But it's on sale for 77 euros for say for want of anything, but maybe about 68, 70 pound. Now, I personally, you know, this knife, is it worth that? Yeah, th th this is a handmade knife. So, yeah, I, I think it is worth it. But there is other options out there if this is out of your price bracket. Now, having this lovely little otter. And you know the, the the scale material, you know, it's gonna everything's gonna put it up in price. All the little details in it, it is so well made. That nail neck is beautiful in it. The stamping is good. It's not etched. So I mean, the fit and finish is really, really quite good for that sort of a price. To get a handmade knife for seventy, you know, seventy pound, sixty at seventy pound, that's that's absolutely fair. And you know, I have got ones in that price range. Let me just start with. Probably one of the cheapest options I would have for this is don't buy new, is buy second hand, if that's what you want. Here's one, look at that, that is beautiful horn, isn't that just beautiful? Look at that, absolutely beautiful piece of horn. Not as beautiful in the back, but a really lovely knife. Now, I say this is about 
All these knives I'm going to show you are just over the three and five eighths, literally just over it. They're all around two ounces. The wooden ones, I've got three wooden ones, including this one to show you, and they're 2.1 ounces. This horn one is um, two ounces. It's uh, a little bit lighter, but as you can see, you're going to get a very, oh, let me bring this down. You're going to get a very, very similar blade shape. Now, I'll have to say on this, whether it's three, this is an older knife, I'll have to say. Um, the nail nick is not as sharp or as deep, but I think it might have been in its time. Do you know what I mean? But anyhow, you know, this is obviously new and better, but it looks really good. The handle lengths are exactly the same. Well, they're not, they're actually a little bit. Actually, this is a little bit. This is maybe just a fraction shorter. I'm just looking at it now. Not very much. It's very similar. Very similar in length. We'll put that down like that. So it's very similar in length, very similar in, in the handle size, everything. Again, this is a four-finger knife. I have a large hand. Perfect. The next one I'm going to show is a basic one. Now, ignore the wood in this because this is one that's had uh, somebody change the wood on it. But again, let's look at the, the blade. There you go. Go bring it down here. I'm not used to this new camera setup I've got. Isn't that they're they're exactly the same sort of thing. The nail neck is lovely in this as well. A bit larger. I think I prefer this one better. You know, it doesn't need to be that large in a knife this small. But you know, perfect working knife. Um, this is uh, an Arthur Wright and Sons. Now this has teak on it. This is the one I got with the um, Royal Yacht Britannia teak. But this would come in just a hardwood, which is a lesser wood than this. Uh, so it's going to cost cheaper. I mean, I think these to buy new are somewhere around the £30 mark. Um, maybe cheaper, maybe a couple of pounds more. Not too sure. But, you know, it's beautiful. The stamping, again, excellent on them. The bolster's lovely. The pinning is beautiful. The termination is a little bit better. Not, not a whole lot, to be honest with you. It is not a whole lot. But it's about similar to that. But, again, this is going to be sort of £30-ish. And to pay for the oak scales, which you're entitled to do, because I do buy knives that are much dearer, because I like the scales. This is, again, £70, pound, £30. Pound. That's a big difference for, you know, that I'd want to pay. I often do. But, you know, just for let, let people out there, if you go to Arthur Wright, you can get knives cheaper than this, if that's the way you're starting. You can move up when you go through your collecting. If you actually want the otter and you want the oak, by all means, pay for it. Absolutely, by all means, pay for it. But I'm trying to give options for other people out here. Now, here's a custom knife. Now, I managed to get this on the, in on the internet. It came up, uh, there was two of them for sale that day. This is one from Ashley Harrison, who is one of the owners of uh, Arthur Wright and Son. This is his his interpretation of a small, this is more of a spear than a, I, I, this is a spear, but you can see the difference. It's a fatter blade, a more working sort of a knife. Now, these are normally anywhere from 75 to 100, depending on what the, 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 the wood is. This is in whiskey barrel oak. Um, absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful knife you can see this is my user it's got the patina on it I don't worry about it rusting I just use it and put it away and it's as simple as that but I got that for £50 on the internet you can see there's nothing on the bolsters because this was just a, a trial knife that he was working out using uh, you know some materials to see how the knife came out he made two of them just to make sure they were alright before he went on and selling them and he put these up because there was no stamps or anything for 50 quid but they're normally going to be between 75 and 100 i would have thought again a lot of these prices you can't hold me to because <laughs> they change um so there's three wooden knives this is a custom and, and here's the difference with the custom knife obviously you haven't got the stamping look at that deep nail neck really well done again i i think it looks better on that than it does on that do you see what i mean this knife is fatter and can take it I think this is the perfect, for this little thin blade, that's the perfect nail neck. The termination on the back of this, even though this was just a practice run, Ashley's is perfectly straight across. Um, fit and finish, absolutely perfect on it, yeah? But if you shop around, if you go and do the things, some of the things that people have been around a while, to get Ashley Harrison's, sometimes you just have to every single day go on the Instagram account and if you're first there when he puts them up, I mean, there's not even a guarantee on what day it's going to be. You just have to check. Um, 
usually in the afternoons but then i would tell you the afternoons and the next one will be in the morning and you've just missed it so you just have to check if that's what you want a custom knife but i think there are three options either one of them will do me this is nice because it's an 01 tool steel so again you're going to have a knife that's roughly the same price as this instead of c45 you're going to get 01 tool steel which is a you know much better blade steel for longevity. This will definitely do me all day, without a doubt. Um, this one is in a, I think it's C75. They do the small ones in. Uh, I think this one's actually stainless steel. But do you know what I mean? The, there's different price ranges for what you want. Um, we're very fortunate over here in the UK that Arthur Wright and then on the back of that, Ashley Harrison has own customs, which can be a bit, but if you just want to buy a knife, you just go on their website and buy an Arthur Wright. You can buy their cheaper versions and they do a little bit more expensive for a better handle. Um, the choices are, are vast. Just don't rush into what you want to buy. Investigate. And that's the joy of the hunt. Even though I know I can find them all, just find out which is the better deal for me, which is the better wood that I want. And then wood and blade steel is going to increase the price on everything. A basic one like this in hardwood, again, 28, 30 pound. You know, it's for nothing. You're getting a knife that's going to do you all day and it's at a price that's really good. Um, and especially with wood. I love wood at the minute, as you know. So I was really glad to see this. And that blonde oak is really, really nice. I do like it. So overall, what do I think of this knife? Let's take these other ones away. These imposters. What do I think of this knife? I think it's beautiful. I think it's an elegant knife. I think it's one that I'd be proud to carry, uh, no matter where I was going. Um, the fit up to it, everything about it is well done. It has a good snap. It is centred. Absolutely beautiful. And that lovely brass will patina as well, which I love all that sort of thing anyway. So yeah, it is a beautiful knife, and I'm really glad I got to see it. I've never had one of these. Um, I've had the uh, the otter messer, I've had the rope knives and things like that, but I've never had a slim, um, I'm going to call it a pen knife, but it, you know, to me, that, to, honestly, this is why, to me, this is just like an elongated pen blade. That's that's what it looks like to me. You know, it's that sort of stature. Um, it's not going to do heavy work. Hello, to be honest with you, these are quite sturdy wee knives. Good sturdy bolsters on these, but you know, it's for light work. It's not for heavy use. And I do love them. Uh, and I've got quite a few in this style. Um, but yeah, I, I the price is worth it. To get C45, I think that's a bit shoddy. They could have gone a wee bit better than C45. Um, and again, it's not really going to matter if this is an EDC knife. But when you see what else is out there, you know, and when, you, when I can get 01 tool steel, which is a custom made knife for this price, I would nearly be better waiting. For me, I'd, I'd rather wait and see if I can get one of their basic ones. The Arthur Wright basic ones of these are every bit, I think every bit is good, except for the handle material. And that's up to you what you're willing to pay for. But Steel Silly Knives, thank you so much for putting this in a passing hand grip. This was not a downer in this knife whatsoever. I think this is a beautiful knife. I just think for those out there that maybe haven't got that money, £70 to spend on a, a pen knife, it's nice to give options. And I always like to push the British makers. They're out there. There's plenty of tailors I witness. Uh, Arthur Wright. I'm not tied to any of them. I don't get anything for free off them. But I like pushing them because that's where I'm from. And I think there is options in the UK that are as good as this. Um, but we all like different knives. And, and look, my box here is just full of different knives from different countries. And I enjoy that too. So it's not a knock on where it's from at all. But just, I think hunting around sometimes, you know, especially in the early part, although Steve City Knives is not early around, so this is not for him. It's for people who are just coming around. Get to know what you like. Get to know what you like to carry. And then shop away at your, your leisure. But knowledge is power. There is other things out there. And by watching other people's videos, like Steel City Knives, like any of the gusts, any of the boys about, um, you get to see what's about locally, what's about your area, your country. And, and I'm really trying to push it at the minute because I really wanted to come back over here. That's it. 
Did I go on too long? I probably did. I told you I would. What is it? 19 minutes? Yeah, it's probably about twice as long as most people. <laughs> Look, I think this is a super knife. Thank you so much for giving it to me. I really appreciate seeing it. Um, and yes, for its price, I think it's a wee bit pricey, but I'm comparing it to things that, and I'm comparing it to a custom that I can get at the same price. So, And it's very hard to get that custom. So not everybody's willing to wait the length of time that I did originally to get an Ashley Harrison knife. I waited a long time. So there you go. Right, bye now. I'm going for a wee cup of tea. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I bored you. I'll try not to next time. That's the best I can offer. Bye-bye now.